Just four days after President Obama's triumphant second inaugural, a federal court handed the White House a major setback. Here to discuss it all are two congressional leaders from Illinois, Dick Durbin, the number two Democrat in the Senate, and Bob Corker, the top Republican on the Senate Foreign Relations Committee. Senators, welcome back to Fox News Sunday. Morning. Yes, sir. Well, the federal appeal, appeals court ruled Friday that President Obama violated the Constitution when he made three invalid appointments to the National Labor Relations Board. Senator Corker, you and 41 of your Senate colleagues joined in support of the lawsuit. What do you think this ruling says about presidential overreach, both in these appointments uh, and also in the, all the executive actions he's been taking recently? Well, it was a huge victory uh, for anybody who believes in balance of power and, and the Constitution, and I could not have been more excited. I came up off the floor when I saw that that had happened, and hopefully the Supreme Court will uphold it. But uh, there is no question that what happened with the NLRB and Richard Cordray, the Consumer uh, Financial Protection Head, that was abusive. And thankfully, uh, the district court here in Washington struck it down, and hopefully the Supreme Court will uphold it. Abusive in what way? My gosh, I mean, these people had just uh, never had a hearing. So, I mean, they came forth, they never had a hearing, and he confirmed them. I mean, it was just, uh, or he appointed them. So it was one of the most abusive cases ever. Obviously, this, uh, this ruling is very far-reaching and actually knocks down uh, decades of, of action by presidents as far as common practice goes. But I'm very thankful that it came forth, and hopefully... We can get back to a, to more of a balanced power. Through the years, the executive branch obviously has been gaining tremendous power. Do you think, and I'm going to bring in uh, okay. Senator Durbin in a second, do you think this invalidates the more than 300 rulings made by the NLRB in the last year with these three now invalid appointments? As, and what about the actions taken by the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau under Richard Cordray? Is all of that out the window? Could well do it. In each case, someone might have to challenge those rulings to make them invalid. But certainly, that's what we said at the time, Chris, was these people were going to be working in vain. The rulings that they come forth with are going to be challenged. That's turned out to be the case. Thankfully for our country, uh, there will be a balance of power here. Senator Durbin, I don't have to remind you, it was the Democrats who came with, up with this idea in 2007 of these pro forma sessions, gavel in every three days for 30 seconds so that it wouldn't be a recess, uh, and therefore you couldn't have recess appointments. Uh, President Bush did not challenge that. President Obama did, and that's why the lawsuit was filed. Is, was that presidential overreach? But let's step into this a little more and ask, why did we reach this point? Why did the president believe these recess appointments were so critical? And I think even Bob would concede we had reached that point because we couldn't go through the orderly process of reviewing nominees and literally voting them up or down. It was a question about how often they could be brought to the floor, how long they would languish on the calendar, what secret hold would apply, whether or not there would ever be a vote. And in its frustration, this administration said, we were elected to govern. And whether it's a National Labor Relations Board or whatever, they wanted to put people in place to govern. I hope what happened Thursday night, Chris, is going to change this. We had a bipartisan, strong bipartisan vote for some rules changes. And included in those rules changes were changes in the way we treat nominees, not only for the courts, but for these agencies. Let's have a, a day in court for each one of them. But, Let's but, have a hearing. But Senator, Let's have a vote. Senator, I, and I want to move on to another subject, but just briefly, I understand the president's frustration. That doesn't mean he can just rewrite the Constitution. Listen, I work in the congressional branch, the legislative branch of our government, and I'm certainly uh, going to hold up our team uh, model, whatever it happens to be, whoever the president happens to be. But I want to put this in perspective. We have seen this president deny the opportunity to make appointments over and over and over again because one senator happens to hate a particular agency or a particular person. For goodness sakes, in fairness, give them a hearing, give them a vote, let's get on with it. You want to respond to that? Well, I do think we did some, something very good Thursday night in that we didn't blow the Senate up. But I would just say, in the case of the NLRB uh, nominees, there was never a hearing. So in that case, it was incredibly abusive. And again, I'm glad the court has struck this down, and hopefully we'll get back to, uh, to uh, regular order and doing things the way we should be in the